I'm going to walk around um, all publicly accessible bits, mate. This is not public, it's private. It's, no, it's public. Right away, where the road comes in. This is oh, yeah, yeah, no, I think you're under misapprehension, mate. What I meant by that were publicly accessible areas. No, this is not public. Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, it's Audit in Yorkshire, so I'm down in Copley, which is a part of Calder Hill. It's, well, it's Halifax pretty much, it's just, just round the corner. Let's get this information up guys, about what is going on with Copley Lloyds Banking Group. So, basically this, this big massive place we're going now is a data centre. It's a data centre and I'll pick it up when I uh, when I get a little bit closer and we'll go into a bit more information. So yeah, this is the car park, uh, but from the other side. So this is the old one that they used to use. Um, as you can see, it's become overrun with weeds and trees and all that kind of stuff. Uh, no public right away, apparently. Uh, Lloyds Banking Group cannot accept any responsibility uh, for loss, damage, or any accidents. Um, we've got another one over there. This building's massive, guys. Uh, so just in the background, you can see Wayne House Tower. Now, I've been there and filmed that before. I think it's actually on this channel. If you go <coughs> right to the very beginning, not, not not sure if I took it down or not, or if it's still there. Uh, but I am planning on doing a revisit, uh, slash, uh, like, tour sort of thing on my Urbexing channel, guys, Urbex in Yorkshire. Uh, but I'm going to book it online and see if I can walk, you know, actually get in it and walk around. I'll go all the way to the top. Some incredible views over Calderdale. But, yeah. This place is the data centre. Now, Copley Wakefield Road. Now these have been visited before. In fact, the guy, <coughs> excuse me, the guy who visited this place, uh, thought it was me. Uh, sorry, the police who spoke to him about it thought it, thought it was me. Because uh, I'd done the fire station in Halifax, but we're talking, we're talking over a year ago now. Uh, and I honestly don't know if this place has been touched since. So, let me just get my phone out. And uh, let's do a little bit of reading. Right, so Lloyd's Banking Group is to close its data centre in Copley which is this one uh, earlier this year um, I think this is from last year yeah 30th of September 2022 uh, so earlier that year the UK banking firm announced a 60 million uh, modernization plan for its Halifax bank units HQ in the town centre now that's the one where I've just been to in a previous video guys so that renovation plan it's costing 60 million. Can you believe that? 60 million to get all, to get it all done up, get the staff put in there, and then I'm assuming they're either going to sell the other building or rent it out. And I've no idea what we're doing with this. Um, which would in, so anyway, uh, the modernisation plan for Halifax's HQ unit, uh, which would include the closure of its nearby data centre and office complex in Copley, which is this one. While the transfer of office staff is due to begin next year, meaning this year, uh, with an aim to complete the Halifax renovation project by 2024. Uh, this week it outlined that the company plans to exit the data centre at a later date. A Lloyd spokesperson told the Halifax Courier, uh, regarding Copley Data Centre, the process will take some time and we expect the building to close in 2025 with the building remaining in use uh, in use until closure 
Uh, Lloyd's has long been on a journey of migrating away um, from on-premises and into the cloud in 2017. Lloyd signed a 10-year cloud outsourcing deal with IBM worth 1.3 million. The agreement saw around 1,500 Lloyd's uh, staff and contractors to be shipped over to Big Blue. Uh, while never officially confirmed, it was reported that the bank would also be selling a number of its data centres to the technology company and paying IBM for their operation around the time of the deal. Lloyd's reportedly operated facilities in Copley, Pudsey, Peterborough and Corby. Uh, in 2020, Lloyd signed cloud deals with both Azure and Google Cloud and claims its tech stack includes GCP, uh, Azure, OpenShift and uh, Kubernetes, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, so, in 2021, uh, the CFO William Chalmers told uh, Dignamica, I think that's how you pronounce that, that they're investing in the foundations of transformation by further proving and uh, leveraging our public cloud capabilities. This is uh, to simplify our legacy estate while I must stress we're currently at an early stage. Uh, significant opportunities uh, exit. Around 60% of our technology estate is currently targeted for migration over the longer term with a significant proportion of this to be achieved over the next three years. So I have no idea uh, what this place is going to be. <coughs> I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a listed building. I can't find any information. I don't think it is. It looks too new. Um, so uh, it could possibly get possibly get sold on. It could get knocked down. Um, hell somebody could just buy it turn it into an house you never know uh, with these kind of things you never know and it already looks like a part of the building is not in use um, although there are red lights on them turnstiles so I imagine uh, they are still in use now what I'll do so I'll get a bit closer down guys and I'll pick it back up right um, so we're back we're back to the building now guys we've got uh, we've got a bus stop Halifax to Copley what is it an actual an actual bus stop as well, that's crazy. So you can just come in here and get a bus. It, it seems a bit, I mean, it look, there's lights missing, the roof's all dirty, um, the paint's all knackered. I mean, you can tell this place is getting ready for a uh, shutdown, can't you? Do you know what I mean? But, um, yeah. It's just quiet, man, it's just quiet. Filthy and quiet. It's a bit of a shame I ain't got a drone. I don't have a drone at the minute. I've had some issues with my old one. And I've still not got it. But it'd have been nice to take a drone over here. Bidgroup.co.uk is a security firm. Um, it just looks dead out, doesn't it? I know there's people here. It just looks absolutely dead out. This might be. Um, this might be going over to members only. This guy's. 
but yeah, I just wanted everyone to see it before its demise. Pedestrian access to reception. You can't get in more, can you? So <clears throat> there's a sign up there, look. It says pedestrian access to reception. But it's shut. Oh, pedestrian access to reception. Now this is the visitor's car park but we've kind of, I mean they've got it boxed off here guys they've got it it's all fenced from other side where we've just been to uh, to all the way up here it just looks looks derelict I wonder if they've already started making plans to sort of um, to move people out of one part of the building into another uh, there is a mighty security van there um, I've got a feeling he might be coming to see me Tell him, I've, look, mate, I've just spoke to your colleagues over the HQ, and they were very happy to sort of, you know, talk to me and stuff like that. Oh, he's left. Out of service, for repair. Looks like they've got um, response vehicles in there for security. Deserted. You want mate? Yeah, just having a walk round um all publicly accessible bits, mate. This is not public, it's private. It's, no, it's public. Right away where the road comes in. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I think you're under misapprehension, mate. What I meant by that were publicly accessible areas. No, this is not public. It's private. No, no what I know listen to what I'm saying. Publicly accessible. Yeah, but parts yeah, but which so basically so I've just had a walk around right reason I'm here is because I'm doing a story on building because it's shutting down isn't it well, in, there's plans for it to shut down in 2025 there is, there is plans, but we're not sure. yeah are you security yeah yeah, yeah 2025 Do you want to come down here? hang on a minute so what I'm doing is I've come uh, doing a story on it because uh, I've been to HQ as well they were quite helpful there they, they were quite nice Obviously, if the parts of the building were secure, I'm staying out of, as you can see, all this fenced off area. That's all, that's the secure part. I'm not going in there because I'm, oh, I'm not this, allowed. This but this, is, I've just walked in off the street, yeah, mate. This is private parking, I know. Eh? I know, but this is private parking. It is light. Yeah, I know, but it's a civil matter, isn't it, dude? Yeah, it's, it's section 33, mate, of Criminal Justice Act 1972. So anywhere what anywhere what has what is publicly accessible to public we can come into and we can film like i'm filming now i'm not breaking law i'm not trying to open and say it's private 
Yeah, I know you're not, mate. I'm not. I'm not trying to be awkward either. Uh, I tell you what, I'll do your deal. What? What's? I mean, I were going to walk up to the top of there. Is there much further up there? Just a what? Just a multi-storey car park. Multi car park. Oh, because I ain't got my drone with me, so can I go have a look? Yeah, I ain't got it with me today. I ain't got it with me. Do you work for Mike? Yeah? Yeah. Right. I tell you what, I'll do your deal. How how's about? <coughs> I have a quick look up there at that multi-storey because I can't you can't see it from main road. And then I'll have seen everything I can see with my camera on this side. Yeah, but I can't zoom in because I'm on GoPro. Yeah. Is it that one on end? Hey. Is it that one on end there? It's you walk up with me if you want. No, Don't come with me. Yeah, I just want to walk to the end of here and then I'll leave. Yeah, but I'm, that's, that's your word, isn't it? I'm taking your word for it. So you can't get round it at all? Well, have a walk on with me then. Let me have a look at it. I won't go in. Come on. Eh? I'm filming. I film everything, mate. I'm a YouTuber. Of course I'm going to film. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I've got... I'm a YouTuber. YouTubers film stuff, don't they? Did you know them drones at night? I didn't know, but I know it was. Yeah. Um, did he cause any trouble? No. No, he was, no we just flying in there. He seems like a quite nice lad, doesn't he? He came a bit low. But a bit low? That's what we were concerned How low did he come down? Like, past, for, past for your building roof? Past fence. Eh? Past just the fence where we're so, so below... Well, he didn't put that on his thing anyway. Right, right, I can tell you now, um, the drone, I think he, I think the drone he had at the time were a Mini 2. Yeah, it was. So, uh, by law, because it's 249 gram, you it. can get as close to buildings and people as yeah. you want, yeah. as long as you don't endanger them yeah. and stuff like that. Um, but I know who it is. Uh, the police came out to him, didn't they? <laughs> they did, yeah. And they thought he were me, because yeah. they said to him, did you do the fire station? And he went... No, no, I didn't do the fires. You know the one up at King Cross? Yeah, yeah. I did it and I got a load of shit off them. Yeah. And I mean, like, you know, firefighters are normally, like, nice and friendly, aren't they? Yeah. You know, and I've I've been to a lot of fire stations. I've had tours around them. I've sat in a uh, truck with blue lights on. Leicester, Rotherham, all over the place. But these up at Halifax were really, like, just proper angry. Proper angry men. Today? Eh? We've been up there today. No, I didn't go back, mate. No, I'm only joking. No, I generally, uh, I generally only go to like sort of one place once unless something happens. If someone else goes, say if someone else came here next week and got assaulted by a member of security, um, then I'd probably come back and do a story on it. You know what I mean? Have you got your? Um, have you got your badge on you? Your SIA badge. I won't film it. Show, show me. Look, I point the camera away. Look, the camera's pointed away. Just show me your badge. Because you're meant to have it on display. Yeah, but I can't see it. I can't see it. Yeah. Listen, section nine. We don't wear them on our hands because it's uh, it's different. It's not like yeah, I know. It's not like working in stores. I know what you're saying. But section nine point one at private security industry, right? You have to have it on display to members of the public. Have you got it on you? Is it in there? 2022? No, that's not me. That's the other one. Well, I'm being reasonable with you, so... I'm not going to film your ID, don't worry, mate. 2025. And that's your door badge. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah, it's meant to be on display. I know it is, yeah. Yeah. These, I'm happy with that. As long as I've got it in... Yeah, but they're SIA happy. Yeah, because if I get inspected, <coughs> I can show them up with it. Because unless, unless you're working covertly, like bodyguarding or some shit like that, yeah. you're meant to have it on show. Sure. Yeah. Um, trust me, mate, I've got a 12 year, 12 year background <laughs> in security, so I know I'm pretty clued up on law, mate, and I know all about SIA policies and stuff yeah. and security no, right. companies and that, so. Because um, I've got it on my end of I've got it. Yeah, mighty. Mighty usually pretty, I've, I've come across a lot of people who work for Mighty, you know, security guards. And uh, they're not very nice, but I mean, 
I met two of your colleagues today at the HQ, yeah. and I've met you, and you're quite nice. You're quite reasonable, you know. You've asked me to come down. I'm coming down. I'm not we're breaking not, your balls. We're not here to be policemen, are we? Yeah. Well, listen, mate. If you'd have come up there, right, and you started chatting a load of shit, and you know, if you'd have got me back up, I'd have been like, nah, do one. I'm going to do what no, I want, mate. I'm not it. breaking law. But do you know what? You've been nice and polite, and, and you're here. You, you're doing an honest work. Honest. You, you're doing an honest day's work. You know, you've probably got family at home. I'm not going to come and break your balls, mate. Do you know what I mean? There's no need for it. You see, you see where it is there? Yeah. That's where, where it stops. Yeah. For public. Well, you've been fine with me, so I'm being fine with you. But what you do need to tell these guys, yeah, is if we don't want people like me coming in, put some gates up. I know, but we won't because their gates are there for me. Yeah, exactly. Which, which. which yeah. I mean, we get dumb walkers walking around. Okay? Technically. Same, same sort of thing. Technically, you are not trespassing until asked to leave by the landowner. Yeah. Or if you're working on behalf of the landowner. Do you know what I mean? So if we come in, dog walkers come in. What do you tell dog walkers to do one as well? You don't, do you? They just walk through. So you let them get away with it? We don't chase them off. Well, well, we're not talking. What are you chasing talking. me off for? No, because you've you've got that. They don't have that, do they? <laughs> well, what if we've got what if we've got like a spy camera or something? No, but we have to protect them, don't we? Eh? Any day we need to protect them. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, you've got a shitload of cameras. Yeah, we have. Which have been watching me since That's I've come in here. Yeah, yeah, I know they have. <laughs> How many? Are you? You've got cameras over there, cameras over there, uh, cameras over there. They've all been watching me since I've come in, and I've not done out wrong, have I? No, no, no. There you go. No. I've just been having a walk round. No. Uh, but no, mate, on a serious note, I've done my, I've done the bit of a vlog on place. Yeah. Obviously, it is going to be shutting down. Yeah. I know for a fact it yeah. is. Uh, Lloyd's Banking Group are actually separating their two buildings. You know them bridges what go across? Yeah. Th they're going. Yeah, they are. They're shifting everyone into one building, and then I think they're either going to sell or lease the bigger one. Like, yeah. <laughs> and they're getting rid of this place. This is a data centre. They're getting rid of it. We don't, everything's done online now and from home. Yeah. Everything's in cloud. Yeah, it is. It's either in cloud or on a laptop. Yeah. So places like this, unfortunately, places like this, are, they're becoming obsolete. Is it, is it? Which cloud, means they're taking jobs away from people. That cloud's destroying country. Yes, I know it is. Isn't it? Yeah, because Time. it's taking jobs away from is. people. You know what I mean? We're going to suffer. Well, you won't suffer because there's know. always, people always need security, don't they? do, they? but not this. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, if, if, some, if shit hit fan here, you could go work somewhere else. I'm not going to work in a supermarket, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, I, I used to do it. <laughs> the head of a company called Cordant, I used to do it 12 hours a day, yeah. a test going through expresses all up and down country. Yeah. And I tell you what, mate, I used to stand there and think, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. God, it's so bad. It's like yeah. fucking pulling teeth out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But something like this... You're all right, because you can patrol. It's quite big as well, isn't it? So you can do a patrol. You yeah, can, we do, yeah. You can go all over, internally, externally. Um, so are you in that hut up there, then? Yeah, that's good. That's is that your colleague? Yeah, that's where our visitors report to us there before. They right, so is, is it is it two per shift? He's, he's site manager. Right, don't worry, I'm not case and joint. No, no. I just wondered how many guards are. Why, is it just you on your own? No, no, there's a few. There's guys. another guy, a few guards, yeah. right? No, what is it? Yeah, yeah, that, that's here, because yeah. see where it road changes now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. There you go, because it goes from tarmac oh, to change at colouring yeah. road. Yeah. yeah, he's trespassed, yeah. he's just done a U turn. No, oh, no, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though? This, boy, is, don't this you? is what public don't understand, they just think they can. Yeah. yeah. Listen, it's been a, it's, it's, it's actually, right, it's been nice talking to you, mate. Yeah. I've had a cordial conversation with a mighty employee, and I never thought I'd be able to say that. But today, I've been really impressed. That's three mighty security guards, what have all been nice to me, and had a cordial conversation. So, I'll shit your hand. My name's Kev. All right. Like I said, Ander, like I said, I am a YouTuber. You, you know you know who I am. Um, I'm sure if you want to find me, you'll find me. You might have even watched one of my videos. I might have a look Do you know what I mean? What do we get under? Eh? What does it come under? Can't tell you that. No, so if we can look, so I can look at I can't tell you. Oh, it was fine, it's, it's, it's top secret. <laughs> like I said, mate. How, got did, all, lads. how did you find that other guy? On YouTube. How though? 
I don't know. Somebody picked it up. And right. Away we go. We Someone will pick this it. up, mate. I'll trust tell you me. What, it a decent video at night. It'll crack on. It does some rate. What it does is it it, it just drawn and then it comes back at night and does the uh, yeah, did, time lapse. Yeah, it did. It was really good. Yeah, I mean, I can't be asked doing stuff like that, mate. <laughs> I've got a drone, but I ain't got it on me. But all I do is I take it up to get aerial footage, take yeah. some photos for Instagram, yeah. and it it makes video a little bit better. Because, say, if in 10 years' time all this gets knocked down, it's history, isn't it? It is, mate, yeah. It's history. It is, yeah. It's people like me documenting. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? So, a shame. but listen, Andy, I'll leave you to it, mate, because I think your, your colleague keeps looking over. Um, so... I'll leave you to it. It's been a pleasure talking to you. All right, you've been a, you've, you're a sound guy, mate. Right. Keep doing what you're doing. We will. We'll try our best. Top man. Nice one. Cheers, Kevin. Catch you later, dude. See you later. There you go, guys. Do you know what? Um, you can just... Right. Me and Ryan had a discussion about some... Um, a while ago and basically I think it's within the first 30 seconds of talking to someone you can you can kind of tell uh, what we're going to be like how, how we're going to act and stuff and I was just getting this feeling uh, with, with Andy um, it just it, it, it didn't seem like he wanted to, to get physical or to get controlling or abusive or anything like that which is why I kind of redacted in what I was doing and I said I'll tell you what come on so we walked back down to the front um, he showed me his SIA badge. Um, really nice guy. Do you know what? Mighty. Mighty should be proud to have people like Andy working for him. And the other two guys I met at the HQ earlier. Uh, so this has been Lloyd's Banking Group Data Centre. Properly, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like, comment and subscribe. And... Uh, yeah, he saved it. It's not going on to members now. He saved it. It's going on the main channel, guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.